Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It is Eleanor. Welcome back to the Nova Nook. In today's video, we are going to be working on the store, the Nook store. And I kind of want to do something a little bit different, kind of make it a little bit, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Essentially, I want to turn the Nook store into like a convenience store, petrol station kind of vibes. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't live in Australia, a petrol station is similar to a gas station, something like that, you know, where random 7-Eleven petrol station out the front, magazine racks, claw machines, just random stuff like that. Kind of, yeah, just like a basic convenience store. So that's the vibe we're going for today. It's going to be a nice quick one, hopefully, but we shall see. And let's get on to the build. All right, as you can see, we're starting out with the pathing. Like I normally do, I like to put the in-game pathing underneath the custom pathing just so it appears on the map because I'm really going for a nice full map aesthetic. I'm not sure if you saw my last series with the Jungle Core Island, but the map didn't look really as nice as I wanted it to, mainly because I was only using custom pathing and custom designs and obviously that does not appear on the map. So. That's what we're doing here. We're doing the custom over the top of the in-game pathing. So I end up using quite a lot of area for this build. It turned out a lot bigger than I expected, but you could definitely do this on a more condensed scale if that's what you wanted. So yeah, it's completely up to you. I did this quite large because I still have a lot of area to fill and I'm quite early on on the island, so they always start out bigger and then you get to the end and you're like, oh no, I don't have a lot more room. So we'll see how this goes. I might need to condense it in the future. I might not. Who knows? So yeah, I'm just kind of finishing off the pathing here. And then I go in over the top and do the custom pathing. If you want to know which custom pathing I do use or if you want to use something similar, I have it in the description below. I absolutely love this brick pathing. I've sent, I've mentioned it in lots of videos that I have done. So if you are a long time viewers, apologies for regurgitating the same information, but I love, love, love this brick pathing. I think the colors are spectacular. Honestly, I think they're amazing. So I just go in now, do the border, do all the fill in. I do end up expanding it slightly down, which looking at the end product, I think I expanded it too far down. So who knows, that might change later on. I might fill it in a little bit more, but for now, I, yeah, like I said earlier, really happy with how this turned out. I think oh, it's hard to say which like is a favorite build, but I think this one is up there just because it's so cluttered. And it's so different to what I've built like in the past. And you know, I just really, I just really liked it. So I finished off the pathing. So I've got this nice wide space. Obviously I couldn't do right up to the building, but you know what, it's fine. I have enough stuff around the side and front to cover it. So it ends up looking quite fine. So uh, towards the back, I add these fences and then I also mix in some of the, um, I mean, spoilers alert, but you're going to see it. Some of the scaffolding because it's a it's an item I've never really used before. And I thought it looked quite interesting, adds a little bit of height and it looks like there's some work being done at the back. Um, partly also because I did not have enough fencing to <laughs> cover the whole area. So I was like, oh, well, let's just put some scaffolding. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just adding the fencing. Realized I did not have enough to cover the whole area like I thought. Um, cause I wanted to go right to the end, but it's okay. I like how the scaffolding turned out in the end. So now I'm just placing some more items. I have a lot of items in this build and my eye, my island is getting quite laggy. Not something I've experienced before, but I have a lot of island items so far and not a, like, I still have quite a lot of room on my island. So it'll be interesting to see how this kind of turns out at the end. I love this little gacha machine and the little pinball machine and I thought this is perfect. To be honest, I haven't seen like a pinball candy machine in a really long time. If you live in Australia, 
you might know, but I remember them being out the front of or like right out of the checkouts of like IGAs and some Woolworths and Coles, but I can't remember seeing them like recently. So I don't know if they're just like kind of disappeared, like not a thing anymore, or I just like not actually realizing, like actually looking for them. But I wanted to add that here. I wanted to add the magazine thing out the front because I thought it was a really cool item and it just, it's very nostalgia-esque like of the old petrol stations with magazine stuff everywhere. You know, you got the vending machines and all the drinks inside. Obviously I can't actually change the inside of Nook's Cranny. So I thought I would bring the stuff that I, you would normally see inside, outside, which is what this area kind of looks like. So in this corner next to um, Nook's Cranny, I wanted to make it like kind of a dumping ground, like almost like a store area that employees would use um, and as you can see here I'm changing the fencing now so I'm moving it behind there and then I add the scaffolding in that little gap in the middle so this area here I wanted to make it very much like a store area it's all sealed it's all sectioned off you can't get in there but there's like tools there's oil barrels which I oh know yeah it makes sense for a petrol station it's fine um, so I just add a lot of stuff here that you would just see, you know, lying around. Um, just going through all the items I have. I have quite a lot of items. Very happy with this selection of items that I did have. I think it was a good variety of not only like the really fancy looking items, but a lot of the random ones that you wouldn't normally use, like a stepladder. When are you going to normally use a stepladder? But at a shop slash petrol station it's perfect same with the floor sign so that's what I kind of add in there just a bunch of junk that you might need you know in a store and yeah this is the scaffolding item I love it I think it is such like an interesting item and I have seen such cool builds of people making like um homes under construction with these and like building sites and I, it's genius absolutely genius some of the animal crossing creators out there are so smart I just want to know how their brain works so I just add that one back there I do go back and add a second one so don't worry about the gap but for right now I'm just filling in this area as well just again adding just a bunch of random stuff that would make sense to be here and I I didn't want to have them all colored very similar because I, I wanted to have a lot of variety and just a lot of um, different colors and different shapes going on just to give it a bit of dimension. I also um, stacked these cardboard boxes and I think I stack a the glass uh, decorative bottles on top. I wanted to I wanted it to look like a little re recycling section kind of you know with the cardboard boxes that maybe the magazines came in, the decorative bottles, Later on, I do put a the vending machines in front of that. So that could be like, you know, extra recycling from those. So this is what I mean. I wall off the area with the safety gate at the front. I do also go in and add the iron fencing along the other side. But so far, I am I was really happy with how this was turning out. And then I start to add the retro gas pumps for the, you know, the gas station. And then I was like, ah. Oh, there is not enough room in front of these to add cars because I wanted to add a couple of the car items because I mean if you're gonna add a petrol station you may as well add some cars right that makes sense so I think then I go in and kind of expand it a little bit I think I only expand it by two or three lines but in hindsight like looking at it at the end maybe it was too much I don't know to be honest I might go back and change it you know Feeling cute, might change later, who knows? So I ended up extending the area by three lines, I guess. I guess the best, best way to describe it. And like I mentioned before, I really wanted to incorporate cars. The previous paths I've done on this island were not thick enough for cars. I mainly had bicycles and the scooter because it's like, you know, the little town center, you don't really want a lot of cars around. and so I really wanted the cars here because this is the place that makes sense to have the cars. And 
and then I realized oh these are not the colors that I want I forgot to get them custom colored so I do go back and do that but for now I add in some more items I really wanted to have one of the um, pumps kind of coned off like do not use so I pop the cone down and then I put the safety barrier in front of it and I quite like how it turned out um, it adds a little bit of something different to there so afterwards I just kind of fill in a lot of the different areas you know adding a utility pole towards the back add some street lights street lamps uh, around as well and um, I had the standard custom um, no not custom in-game pathing under the street lamp that I do with a lot of them again if you like this custom design of the baskets the hanging baskets I do have that in the description below so check it out I only used a few custom designs on this island like surprisingly I didn't use uh, I haven't used as nearly as many as I did on the jungle core island like I think I've used besides the actual pathing uh, maybe only a few most of them have been done in the simple panels so I'm quite happy with how like limited I have used custom designs so if you don't have access to it you can definitely do something similar without custom designs like you could just do the standard brick park thing here you don't have to put a custom design on top so there's quite a bit of flexibility and if you do want to recreate this sort of build um, so yeah I added that little cart out the back again just something similar that you would see in like a stock area always got to have the pile of leaves as always and then now I'm going in with some fencing so I continued this hedge and the stone iron fencing uh, right to the end of the path and then I actually start using more of just the plain iron fencing throughout the area because it looked a little bit more like I matched the fence towards the back a bit better and this is where I kind of block off this little storage area and I thought the, the this iron fencing actually tied in really well with the safety barrier towards the front and of course the fencing towards the back so I utilize that fencing a lot in this area and I think that really adds a bit of dimension to islands is definitely having different types of fencing like you don't have to use the same type of fencing throughout you can use different types because it's you know it, it just adds a little bit of different dimensions to the whole island um, and I think that looks quite nice and it makes it just makes it look a little bit different and it's not so static all the time um, obviously I need to add some greenery so I do add this evergreen ash I've used these quite a lot throughout this island because I think it looks quite um, sophisticated not sophisticated more city-esque than just a standard tree uh, but I pop a tree in there pop some fencing in front and then I decide to move the street lamp back one space and then I wanted to put a bush in front of it because I didn't think I had enough greenery like throughout I really wanted to incorporate more of that so I popped that in there um, with the tree behind it and the uh, street lamp in front of it because it won't really cover that much and then like I said before I go in with the iron fencing just to continue down the front here I do leave a gap in the middle um, for you know to expand later on but I don't know I uh, look most of this island I am quite winning winging so I'm not sure how it'll all connect in the end but we'll see that's the that's the fun of this island is just go with the flow so final touches now I'm adding a drink machine a vending machine sorry a drink machine and a snack machine because they're both vending machines and then I go in and add the second um, scaffolding at the back and then that is pretty much done so yeah I'll leave you to the rest of the video all right and that's another video wrapped up I again love this build so far I'm really loving this island like I'm having a lot of fun with it really liked how this turned out it looks nice and cluttered really city style definitely reminiscent of a petrol station with just a bunch of stuff all around it and 
yeah, I'm very happy with it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely going to be expanding further down and further across. We are nowhere near finished this island. So stay tuned for future videos and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.